welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be trying to do this makeup look obviously you guys have seen it actually worked out i managed to get it right in the end i was actually inspired to do this video from shannon mooney if you guys don't know her i will leave her here she ha also has a youtube channel and she is incredible at doing eye makeup I found her on Instagram and I was like, oh my goodness, your makeup is incredible. I commented on a YouTube video and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to have to try it out. I'm going to have to like get the confidence and try to do a fancy eye makeup look. So Shannon, this is inspired by you. So thank you very much. Yes, without further ado, if you want to see me try to do this makeup look, then just carry on watching. Okay, so starting off, it looks a little bit crazy. Obviously, we haven't done the underneath yet. There's no mascara, eyeliner, or anything on. So excuse that, but let's do this other eye. So starting off, I'm just going to prime my eyes using my Last Imperfection Concealer. This is the concealer I use literally for everything. I'm just going to pop some of that on my eyelid. You want to go quite high up with it as well, because as you can tell, we are going quite high up. And then I'm going to blend it in using what we realised was not the Dome Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. I'm not too sure what this brush is called, but it looks like this. And it's from Real Techniques. It's really dense, really thick. And I use this to apply concealer to like near my eyes for precision. I did this one off camera to make sure I actually knew what I was doing before I like failed on camera and then didn't film because I ran out of patience really quick. I'm then gonna go and set my eye primer concealer on my eyes using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent and I'm going to use that on the Real Techniques contour brush just set that so it doesn't crease okay so we are going to be using the James Charles X Morphe palette this palette just it's brilliant all the colors are so pigmented in here look at that you guys have seen me use this so much so the first color we are going to go in with is called love that and it is this shade right here I'm going in with that on a Jack Wills brush. Again, this hasn't got a number on, so I'm not too sure what it's exactly called. But you just want a thicker brush to pack the colour on. And I'm just going to pack this on, focusing on the crease on the outer corner of my eye. You do want to get a bit of colour on so it blends out a bit easier. There's going to be a lot of stages through this where it looks an absolute mess. But it's okay because it will turn out okay in the end. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> Okay, so leaving that like that, we will we will blend that out. I'm going to go in with a thinner brush. Again, I have no name for this brush. They're literally little brushes I've got off of Amazon. I'm going to go in with the colour Skip, which is this bright pink in the corner. I'm going to take that on that brush and just blend it over the top of the shade Love That. I'm telling you, like, I have any idea what I'm doing. I'm basically just, like, trailing it out. I'm then going to go in with the shade, the orange shade, which I love. I've also matched my bodysuit to the orange. I hope you've noticed. I'm going to go in with the shade 518, which is this one here. And I'm going to go on that with the Dome Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. The actual Dome Shadow Brush, not the one we thought it was. And then I'm going to blend that right on top, almost near my brow bone. I'm just going to blend that orange into the pink there. These colours are so beautiful, like they just blend so easily and they're so pigmented, like look at that already. Okay, now I'm going to cut my crease. Now I'm not the best at this, I think I've done it like five times. I just use concealer, so again I'm going to go in with the Last Imperfection concealer that I use to prime my eyelids and I'm also going to use the Urban Decay Naked Brush. This is the brush that just comes with the palettes. So what I'm going to do on the other end of this, you've got like a fluffier end of the brush and you've got a flatter um, packing end of the brush. I'm going to take the concealer. I'm not going to put this on my eye. That is just a recipe for disaster. I'm going to wipe the brush on this and get the concealer off of it. Start lower down to your lash line and then you can kind of draw the crease out. So starting in the middle, in the centre rather, in the inner corner of your eye, that's what it's called. I literally just drew where my crease was. I'm gonna blend a little bit more of that concealer out and up. And then I need a little bit more just to make that look decent. <laughs> I'm really not great at doing cut creases. However, just practice and I'll hopefully get better. And the same for you if you've never done one before, perfect time to try. I'm really not the best at it. I just give it my best go. 
I'm then going to go in with the other end of the brush, of the Urban Decay brush, the fluffier end. And I'm going to go in with the shade Ring Light and So Good, which are these two shimmery gold colours at the top. I am going to go in with Ring Light first. Okay, now back in with the brush that we used for Love That. I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit of that colour and just go on the outer V of the eye, blend that into the concealer that we've just put on. Again, don't worry that it's a little bit messy, that's okay. I'm going to go in with Skip, the lighter pink colour, on the little brush and blend that into, you want to blend that into the concealer that we've just put on. Then I have a little tip for you. You're going to take an angled brush. This is just a plain one. I, again, I don't know the name of this, but it is just angled and it's quite hard. I'm going to go in with the shade Love That, which is the first colour we put down. And I'm going to go over the cut crease right at the top of the concealer. I'm going to just draw a line. We're obviously quite softly, you're going to go in and just like pat the line on. And this is just going to add that depth and that we've kind of taken away by doing the cut crease. It's just going to add that depth back in. And that is basically it for now. I am going to obviously finish off the underneath of my eye. It looks a little bit crazy right now. So we're going to move on to face makeup and then we will do the underneath. Starting off, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter. And this is in the shade Liquid Starlight. Just highlight the high points of my face, like you've seen me do it loads of times. I'm going to blend that in using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I feel like the only thing that is missing from this look is false lashes. This would be perfect with false lashes, however, I rarely wear false lashes. I don't own any and I haven't got any in the flat at the moment. Um, so we will not be having false lashes with this look, however, if I was actually going out in it, I'd love to have lashes with it, but I'm not. I'm actually just filming this and then going to take it all off and take loads of photos in it because, you know, I'm not putting makeup on for nothing. <laughs> then going in with foundation, I'm going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. As always, this is in the shade 220 um, to match my fake tan, not my face, before anybody makes a comment. I don't know why I just did that. I literally just put it straight on my face. I'm going to actually put it on my brush. <laughs> do you ever do just little weird things that you don't even realise when you're doing your makeup? I've noticed that in editing my videos. I'm then going to go in with concealer, the same one we've just used on my eyes, the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm just going to draw a triangle under my eyes. You don't want it to go too close with this straight up. That is why we use the other brush to get precise underneath so we don't ruin the eye makeup we have on. I'm then going to go in with a mix of the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and the We Don't Know The Name Of It brush. This one obviously to get a little bit more precise out under the eyes and this one to just like blend the bulk of it out. Honestly, the weather is absolutely beautiful and I haven't got a garden and I'm so upset about it. Like all of you guys who have a garden right now you are so lucky like this is my time of year i love this time of year and obviously i'm feeling very grateful that me and my family are healthy and happy and there is a lot more problems in the world right now than me having a garden but you know when you just like want the sun and it's there but you can't really have it yeah <laughs> obviously i'm going to go in and bake under my eyes as always i'm using the Revolution Banana Light Powder. I'm just going to apply the baking powder with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm just going to go under my eyes. Okay, moving on to brows. I thank you guys because I have had a lot of messages from you guys about the brow pomade that I was using in my last video, I think it was. Was it my last video? I don't know when this video is going up. In my um, Get Ready With Me To Do Nothing video, I tested out the um, Revolution Brow Pomade and I wasn't too sure of how I was using it and what the best way was. I've had quite a number of messages about the best way to use this. A lot of you said I was using a wrong brush. However, I haven't got another brush right now, so I'm going to be using the same brush i don't want you guys to think i'm ignoring what you've said it's just as of right now i have no other option so i'm just going to go in with the pomade and fill in my brows 
so I think that's a lot darker than I filled them in last time but I will listen to you guys I will get another brush however when I can actually get one right oh no it's not my brows done oh my god I'm an absolute mess today I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London clear brow gel it's called a brow this way I showed you in my last video I'm just gonna go in and oh that was a lot I'm gonna comb through my brows and set them I think you need a strong brow when you have like makeup like this otherwise it can kind of seem like the makeup just like washes your brows out because your eyes are so like and then your eyebrows are like Meh. so i'm quite glad that they've gone a little bit darker i'm just going to go back in and wipe away the bake from under my eyes this is a big fluffy brush from jack wills it's a beautiful brush i'm just going to blend that away okay now time for my under eyes i'm really excited to finish this makeup off i'm going to go in and do this side off camera and then i'll come back on like before and show you how i do my right side okay so that was quite simple i'm just going to go in with the brush that we used for love that i'm just going to pop that under my eyes and then back in with the brush that we used for 518 and i'm just going to blend that underneath the pink it does come down quite low however i think you need that because the top goes up quite high so I'm just going to blend that under the pink. Okay, just to finish the eyes off, I'm going to go in with the colour ring light that we used on the cut crease. And I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner to act as a highlight. If I do have eye makeup on, I like using the same like shimmer shade that I've used on my eyes as the highlight. It just kind of blends nicely together. Okay, now time to curl and mascara my lashes up. Where's my mascara gone? Got it. Okay, that is my eyes done. I'm going to go in and finish off bronzing. I'm going to go in with the Hula by Benefit and on an angled brush and just contour. If you were brave, you could probably go in with a bright lip. However, I'm not that brave, so I'm going to go in with a nude lip. I'm just going to line my lips and put some Carmex on. I'm just going to pop some Carmex on. Carmex is my best friend. I've always got Carmex on, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. And it just adds like a little something, like a little gloss without wearing gloss. So just pop that on. Last thing I'm going to do is pop the highlighter that we used at the start, just on my ring finger. Now, I never really do this, but I'm going to take a risk and try and use liquid highlighter instead of a powder highlighter, just on my cheekbones. Okay, so that is the makeup look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to do this makeup look. As I say, I'm not the best. I appreciate all your comments saying that I'm good at makeup. However, I'm not the best out there. Um, I just try and give it my best go. So if you're a beginner and if you are struggling to like find the courage to do makeup, just sit and play around with it. Just see what you can do. This is literally what I've done in this video and just see what I can come up with. So yes, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I really am appreciating listening, not listening because I can't hear, but reading and replying to all your comments. I'm loving reading through and replying to your comments at the moment. So please keep that up. Yes, thank you very much for watching. I love you all lot and I will see you back here on my channel on Friday with another video. Bye, guys.